With Pokemon Go being so big over the past month, I thought it would be a really cool idea to show you guys some of the other best worldwide scavenger hunt type games. All these things are going to be shown in the same park. This is my little sister and she's going to be helping out with this video. So which one do you want to show them first, Katie? Which game? Letterbox. Alright, we're going to show you guys where the letterbox is. Lots of Pokemon here. If you type in letterboxing on Google, you'll find a few different websites. This one I'm using is Atlas Quest. But what you do is you put in your location or whatever location you want to find the letterbox. And what happens is it takes you to um, the list of all the ones nearby. So what you can do then is click one in the park that you want to go to. And it gives you directions on how to do it. So we're going to follow these directions to the letterbox. The clue told us to pass that bridge. And then follow the trail down here. So if you read the clues, it tells us to go to this fence right over here. And then what it says is to look 150 degrees. So you'd need a compass for this one. And it says take three steps back here to a hole in the tree. Let's see. Oh. Tupperware container down there. And this is it. In a letterbox, you will find a logbook and a stamp. So, what you do is you have your own stamp and you stamp it in this logbook that you find in here and you write your name and the date you found it. And then you take this stamp that you find in it, it's like usually a hand carved stamp, and you stamp your own book. So that was mine. I found this one before, actually like two years ago. So that's the one I that's the one in here. But then I found all of these other ones in this park too. And like I said, this is all over the world. So I have tons of different stamps from all over. Once you stamp your own book with the stamp from the letterbox. Make sure to put everything back. Put it back exactly where you found it. After you signed it and stamped it, of course. So Katie's putting it back exactly where we found it. You leave it there for the next person to find. What game do you want to show next, Katie? Geocaching. Alright, let's go do it. Geocaching is definitely the most known out of all the ones we're going to show you. But what you do is you either have a GPS or an app on your phone. I have the geocaching app. And it uses GPS and it'll pinpoint where you need to go. So we're going to go to the place and show you it. The GPS coordinates take us around here. And we found this. You can move the rocks, Katie. There it is. When you open it up, you'll find a logbook like you did in letterboxing, but this one you don't stamp, you just sign with a pen. And then you also find little toys and stuff like that that you can keep if you trade it. Some uh, are better than others. We don't have anything to trade, so we're just going to put it all back and sign the logbook. Make sure to put it back exactly where you found it. Make sure to cover it up well. The last game we're going to show you is Munzee. Munzee, you have to download an app on a smartphone. They have it on iOS, Google Play, all that stuff. So then you open up the app, and this one is very similar to geocaching. So Munzee will show you on the map all the different Munzees. We were super close to one. It's the little green pinpoint thing. So you walk to it. And that's the Munzee back there. And then what you do is you have to scan it on your phone. It's a little QR code. So you scan it. And then it'll pop up a message. The message says, you scanned it, congrats. 
you've captured the Munzee on a tree Munzee. That was the name of that one. Because a lot of times Munzees you'll find on the back of signs and stuff. So this was a very cool one. The cool thing about Munzee is there's a lot of different types. That was the traditional where you just scan it and get the points. But these are quiz Munzees where you scan it and then it asks you a question. There's handicap ones, there's mystery ones where you get a random amount of points. So that's really cool. If this video does really good and gets tons of likes, then I could make a separate video if you would enjoy that. I know this video is a little bit different, but thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to uh, see more videos in more detail of these games, just make sure to let me know. And then this weekend, I'm probably going cliff jumping, so hopefully I can make a few videos this week. Thank you for watching. Thanks for helping.